Philip Sport very Nyging, abbreviated as PSV and internationally known as PSV Eindhoven, Uchjes e v e e i i n t e o e a v m registered trademark, N, is a sports club from Eindhoven, the Netherlands. It is best known for its professional football department, currently playing in the Eredivisie, which has never been relegated to a lower division. The club was founded in 1913 as a team for Philips employees. PSV A Euro unregistered trademark S history contains two golden eras revolving around the UEFA Cup victory in 1978 and the 1987 Euro 88 European Cup victory as part of the Continental Treble in 1988. The team has won the Eredivisie 21 times, the Domestic Cup 9 times and the Joe and Cruid Shield 9 times. Currently, PSV is 28th on the UEFA Club Coefficients ranking. Throughout the years, PSV established itself as a stepping stone for future world-class players like Ruud Gullit, Roma Rio, Ronaldo and Ruud van Nistelrooy. Since its foundation, it has played in the Philips Stadion and has upheld its club colours. Its elaborate connection with Philips can be witnessed in its sponsoring, shared technology and board member ties. Fans have named themselves Boren, Dutch for either peasants or farmers, taking pride in Eindhoven's status of being a provincial city and their Brabantian heritage. History, Foundation and First Decades To serve the need for activities with Philips employees, the company founded its own football team in 1910, the Philips Elftal. Its ground was the Philips Sport Park, located on the same location as the present-day stadium. Financial turmoil and worker strikes led to a quick demise of the team and in 1913, its successor emerged, the Philips Sport Very Nigging was founded on August 31. It was the day that Philips organized celebrations and sports competitions in light of the centennial defeat of the French in the Napoleonic Wars. It was not until 1916 though, that the football department switched its name from Philips Elftal to PSV. Because of World War I, the first possibility to enter a league was in the 1915-16 season. The club's first ever match was a 3-2 defeat against Willem II reserves on September 19, 1915. The team did achieve promotion that season to a newly created third division of the Brabantian FA. Under the guidance of coach Wout Buitenweg, PSV got promoted in 1918 and 1921 as well, eventually reaching the East class. The team got relegated in 1925 but its stint in the second division only lasted one year when PSV got promoted again. Since 1926, PSV has always played in the highest possible domestic league. That year, defenders Jeff Van Run was brought in and a year later January Van Den Broek joined PSV. Two players that would shape the squad in the coming years. Behind the scenes, Franz Otten became chairman of the entire PSV Sports Union. He was responsible for bringing the club to a new level with new accommodations and stadium expansions. After winning the District League in 1929, PSV entered the championship playoffs. In that competition, it won six out of eight matches. A 5-1 win against Velocitas from Groningen meant that PSV was crowned league champions for the first time. In the following three years, PSV won the District League every year but it could not win the playoffs until 1935. In that year, the team secured the second championship ever in a 2-1 victory against DWS. Due to World War II, attendances decreased significantly and in 1940, PSV player Joe and Brussels died in combat. After the war, PSV signed two new strikers, Piet Franzen in 1948 and Cohen Dillon in 1949. In 1950, PSV got its first post-war success when the team defeated HFC Harlem in the KNVB Cup final. The match ended in 4-3 after extra time. A year later, PSV won the district title after EVV failed to win their final match. Even though coach Sam Wadsworth resigned during the championship playoffs, the title was won after a 2-1 win over Willem II. The 1950-51 season was Dylan a Euro unregistered trademark S breakthrough, scoring 21 times and earning the nickname a Euro the Cannon a Euro unregistered trademark. Besides Dylan and Franzen, 
A memorable player of the early 1950s success was goalkeeper Lee Steiger, who ended up playing 383 matches for PSV. In 1955, PSV became the first Dutch club to enter the European Champion Clubs Cup. The two matches against SK Rapid Wien ended in 1-6 and 1-0. Other success in the 50s remained absent but in the 1956-57 season, Dylan scored 43 times a Euro a Dutch record that still stands today. The approaching 60s marked a shift in player a Euro unregistered trademark S heritage. The team went from mostly Brabant and men to players nationwide. Representative for this policy were defender Roel Wiesma, who arrived in 1954 and captained the team for a decade and Piet van der Kuil, who came from Ajax for €59,000. Dylan left the club in 1961 after being club top scorer every year from 1953 to 1960. In 1962, Otten also decided to quit as chairman of the sports union. By then, board member Ben van Gelder had gradually started to mould the club in his way. Throughout the next two decades, he became responsible for turning PSV into a full-fledged professional organization. Van der Kuyel Nera and UEFA Cup victory In the 1962-63 season, marking PSV a Euro unregistered trademark S50 anniversary, the club appointed Bram Apple as the new coach. The first results were disastrous though, with a mere six points from the first six fixtures. A sudden revival led to a first place at the winter break and a 5-2 victory over Ajax in June meant that PSV could celebrate its fourth league title, with Pierre Karkovs leading the goal scorer charts with 22 goals. The following year, PSV ended second in the league but more significantly, reached the Europa Cup I quarter-finals for the first time, where it was eliminated by FC Zar one quarter rich. Apple remained coach for five years. The position was later on followed up with short stints by Milan Nicolia and Wim Blockland. Willy van der Kuyeln was signed in 1964, who produced 23 league goals in 1966 and became the league Wii Euro unregistered trademark S top scorer at age 20. Between 1968 and 1972, Kurt Linder coached PSV. His team reached two Dutch Cup finals and the semi-finals of the European Cup Winners' Cup. Van der Kuyeln had trouble fulfilling his promise after an encouraging career start in the 60s, though, partly because of a lack of chemistry between him and Linda a Euro unregistered trademark s harsh coaching style. The early 70s in football were dominated by Ajax and Feyenoord and it was not until the appointment of Keyes Rivers as coach in 1972 that would mark the start of increasing success for PSV. With Van der Kuyeln and goalkeeper Jan van Beveren as the stars of the team, Rivers created a new squad by signing Rolf Edstra Paragraph M, Jerry Durgers and the twins Willy and Rena copyright Van der Kerkhoff. Things improved for Van der Kuyeln when Rivers built the team around him, giving him a free role in the process. Van der Kuyeln, a technical player, formed a successful striker partnership with Edstra Paragraph M, who was famed for his heading ability. It led to a Dutch Cup victory in 1974, and after a blistering season start and 28 goals by van der Kuyeln, PSV also won the league for the fifth time in 1975. A year later, PSV managed to win its first a Euro AA a Euro unregistered trademark. With defender Hugh Stevens joining the team, the league title was secured after a 4-1 result against Feyenoord. Earlier, a 1-0 victory over Roda JC meant that PSV won the National Cup as well. In the European Cup, the final was only narrowly missed after a 1-0 aggregate loss against AS saint Permilchen in the semi-finals. After the two consecutive titles, PSV ended second in 1977. The following year, Edstra Paragraph M left the squad but PSV nonetheless enjoyed a strong league campaign. In April 1978, the team secured the title without a single loss. The domestic cup ended early after a shocking 1-6 first-round loss against FC Wageningen. The UEFA Cup campaign proved to be more successful. After wins against Glenavon, Widzu Lodz, Eintracht Braunschweig and 1. FC Magdeburg, the team faced FC Barcelona. 
a 3-0 win in the first leg was nullified by the Catalans in the return leg, but a single goal by Nick DC in Camp Nou meant that PSV could progress with a 4-3 aggregate win. The two-legged final against SC Bastia first produced a goalless draw in the first match. The return leg in Eindhoven ended in a 3-0 win, with goals by Willy van der Kerkhoff, Derges and van der Kuehl, giving PSV its first European trophy. Hiding and the European Cup victory. After the UEFA Cup victory, the team chemistry started to suffer, which was reflected in the results. Not long after a 6-0 UEFA Cup loss against Saint Etienne, Rivers was sacked and the squad disintegrated. Van Beveren, unhappy with the declining success and Rivers' Euro unregistered trademark departure, left for the United States after 291 league games and years of captaincy. Van Gelder also quit in 1980 and was replaced by Keyes Ploegsma. Even though PSV invested in players like Halva Thorsen and Jerry Kulhoff, success remained absent. Thijs Leibrook's highest league position was the second place and in 1983, Jan Rekker took over. A clash between van der Kuehlen and Leibrook led to the former Euro unregistered trademark S departure in 1982 after nearly 18 seasons at the club. In 1985, Chairman Jacques Ratz and Ploegsma decided on a change of direction, Hans Krab became the new director of football and PSV started to sign players with flair, like Rude Gullit, Tsar Ren Lerby, Gerald Vanenberg and Eric Gerets. Gullit, who quickly was appointed as captain, contributed to the team that headed the league table for the majority of the 1985 Euro 86 at Ivesi and claimed the title after an 8-2 win against Go Ahead Eagles. Being unhappy with his personal development, Gullit heavily criticized PSV and Cry in a March 1987 interview. The management a Euro unregistered trademark a subsequent warning was deemed too lenient by Cra, who resigned. Gullit a Euro unregistered trademark s strained relationship with the club meant that he left for AC Milan in the summer for a world record fee of 7, 7 million euro. Earlier that year, GUUS Hiding replaced Kra and Ronald Koeman joined PSV. That season, the squad suffered early eliminations from the Dutch Cup and European Cup, but secured the title in the penultimate match. The 1987-88 season turned out to be PSV a Euro unregistered trademark s best year in history. The Erdivisie was won four matches before the end after many high-scoring matches, leading up to 117 goals. The Cup was also won after beating Roda JC 3-2 after extra time. The European Cup campaign started with wins against Fina Bihar Section E and Rapid Wien. Subsequently, PSV managed to reach the final with only draws. The quarter-finals against Bordeaux were decided by Wimke F to Euro unregistered trademark S away goal. A vicious foul by Hans Gilhorse on Jean Tagana was praised by Koeman, which prompted UEFA to suspend him for the semi-final return leg against Real Madrid. Again, an away goal in the first leg meant that the second leg a Euro unregistered trademark S0-0 was enough to proceed. The final against Benfica, held in Stuttgart, remained goalless. In the penalty shootout, Van Brieckelen saved Benfica Euro unregistered trademark S sixth penalty by Anta Cube Nio Veloso, which meant that PSV had won the European Cup and completed the treble. After the summer break, Willy van der Kerkhoff, present at both the 1978 and 1988 triumphs, was honoured with a farewell match. The 1988-89 season again resulted in the double, Hid Dinka Euro unregistered trademark S squad won the title and PSV beat Groningen in the cup final. In comparison, the international competitions were disappointing. The Intercontinental Cup against Nacional ended in a 2-2 draw, but PSV lost the penalty shootout with 7-6. The team was also beaten in the UEFA Super Cup by KV Mechelen. In the European Cup, Real Madrid got its revenge by eliminating PSV in the quarter-finals. Developing talent After the European Cup win, PSV outsmarted many clubs by signing Roma Rio. After a first season with 19 league goals, his hat-trick in the November 1989 match against Stoa Bicure unregistered trademark T. 
including a memorable solo effort to Euro was his big breakthrough. In 1989, after Komen left, PSV ended second in the league, but won the KNVB Cup after defeating Vitus. Heidink left the team in 1990, to be replaced by Bobby Robson. In his two seasons at the club, PSV won two league titles. The first one on goal difference and the second one in the penultimate match against Groningen. Meanwhile, Roma Rio, league top scorer in 1989, 1990 and 1991, was admired by fans, but sometimes also renounced by the squad for being unprofessional and selfish. Robson had frequent clashes with Roma Rio, but the striker never changed his ways. These events, plus the lack of European success meant that Robson was let go in 1992. While Gerrits retired, Hans Westerhoff took over as coach, but only won the Super Cup in his single season at the helm. In 1993, Romario was transferred to FC Barcelona. Westerhoff was replaced by Art de Mose, who led the team to the third place. Early in the 1994-95 season, Demos was fired and replaced by Dick Advocaat. PSV saw Van Brieckel in retiring and signed Luke Nillis in 1994, who formed a powerful duo with another signing, a 17-year-old Ronaldo. The Brazilian striker scored 30 goals in his debut season, while Nillis was named Dutch Footballer of the Year in an otherwise trophyless year. After an injury-filled 1995-96 season where he still managed 12 goals, Ronaldo left for Barcelona. That season, PSV won the cup after a 5-2 win against Sparta. In the 1996-97 season, when Harry Van Raalj became chairman, Advocaat had created a team with players like Philip Koku, Jayap Stam, Vauduaj Zenden and Wim Jonk. It led to the Eredivisie title, with Nilis becoming league top goalscorer. In the 1997-98 season, the team came in second behind Ajax in both league and cup. It resulted in Koku, Stam, Zenden, Jonk and Advocaat leaving PSV, forcing the club to build a new squad. Robson temporarily returned in 1998 for one year so that desired coach Eric Gerrits could get his coaching badges. Again, Nilis showed to be highly compatible with a poacher-type striker. New signing Ruud van Nistelrooy scored 31 times in his first season. In the season's last round, PSV beat FC Utrecht 3-2 with a last-minute goal by Arnold Braginka Euro just enough for Champions League qualification. Dutch hegemony In the 1999-2000 season, van Nistelrooy bagged 29 goals after just 23 matches, but after two serious injuries an imminent transfer to Manchester United was forced to be postponed for a year. PSV were comfortably crowned league champions in Jurat's Euro unregistered trademark debut year, creating a 16-point gap with runner-up the Arenveen. The 2000 Euro 01 Eredivisie was also won with new striker mate JK three-quarters man, who replaced Van Nistelrooy and the departed Nilis. The cup final was lost to FC Twente after penalties. In the UEFA Cup, PSV faced one. FC Kaiserslautern at home. Fans threatening to storm the field during the match prompted Gerrits and some players to personally intervene. PSV was fined by UEFA and forced to play a European match on neutral ground. After Van Nistelrooy left, PSV ended second in the 2001 February season and got eliminated in the UEFA Cup quarterfinals by Feyenoord. Gerrits was released and GUUS Hiding returned to the club as coach and director of football, with Arjun Robin, Park Ji Sung, Lee Young Pio joining PSV. Their first season immediately brought a league title, secured in the last match against Groningen. But in the 2003 April season, PSV failed to reclaim the championship. In 2004, the PSV board clashed with Hiding and Van Raalj concerning the expenditures. Van Raalj left in September and Heidink never got along with his successor Rob Westeroff, who sided with the board. Even though K three-quarters man and Robin left in 2004, Heidink had gradually built a powerful squad, with Gomez, Alex, Park, Lee, Van Bommel and the returning Philip Cocu. The Erbdivisier was won five matches before the end and Willem Du was beaten in the cup final. 
After eight consecutive Champions League group stage eliminations, PSV reached a knockout stage. There, they beat AS Monaco 2-1 on aggregate and Olympique Lyonnais after penalties. The first semi-final against AC Milan was lost 2-0. In the return, PSV took a 2-0 lead but a late goal by Massimo Ambrosini ended the hope to reach the final, despite an injury time third goal by Koku. After the 2004 May season, Van Bommel, Vogel, Park and Lee left. With new signing Timmy Simons and youth prospect Ibrahim Afile, PSV reached the Champions League knockout stage again. In that round, Olympique Lyonnais revenged PSV by winning 5-0 on aggregate. The team did win the league, but lost the cup final to Ajax. Afterwards, Heidink left and Ronald Koeman replaced him. Westeroff, who lost support from the board, resigned soon after Heidink a Euro unregistered trademark s departure. Jan Recker became general manager. During the 2006 a Euro 07 season, League leaders PSV squandered a 12-point lead, enabling AZ and Ajax to equal their 72 points before the last round. A surprise AZ defeat in the last fixture meant that PSV a Euro unregistered trademark S5-1 victory against Vitus was enough to edge the title win. PSV had a single goal difference with Ajax. Komen was criticized by the board after losing a big lead, but was eventually allowed to remain as coach. In the 2007 August season, after Koku and Alex left, the team was disqualified from the KNVB Cup after fielding a suspended Manuel da Costa. In October, Komen took up the coaching job at Valencia, prompting PSV to first appoint January Wouters and then Sef Ferguson as caretakers. The fourth title in a row was won in the last match, again against Vitus. After the title, Gomez and director of football Stan Valckx voiced criticism towards Reca, forcing the club to choose between Reca and Gomez. Subsequently, Reca sacked Valckx and sold Gomez to Tottenham Hotspur. Recent years, Hugh Stevens returned as coach in 2008, but disappointing performances and clashes between Stevens and the squad resulted in his resignation six months later. Caretaker Dwight Leduig has wrapped up the season with a fourth place. The following year, Fred Rutten was appointed as coach. In his first two seasons, PSV reached a third place twice. Meanwhile, the club experienced liquidity problems, but secured its future through loans and property sales. Key players Afile and Balazedest Tsutsuke were sold and as a consequence, Director of Football Marcel Brand spent €25 million Euro to improve the squad. But in the 2011 December season, the team dropped out of the title race early again, which led to Rutner Euro unregistered trademark S dismissal. Philip Cocu finished the season as caretaker, leading the team to a third place and a KNVB Cup after beating Heracles Al Malo. For the 2012 13 season, Dick Advocat became head coach while Mark van Bommel returned from AC Milan. Despite 103 league goals, the team ended as runner-up in both the Divisie and KNVB Cup. Advocat, who struggled with the Joby Euro unregistered trademark S intensity, left after one season. In 2013, Koku was appointed as head coach. Crest and Colours PSVA Euro unregistered trademark S first crest consisted of a light bulb and the words a Euro Philips sport a Euro unregistered trademark in a circular shape. Its next incarnation was a shield-shaped logo with red and white vertical lines, topped off with the letters a Euro PSVA Euro unregistered trademark. The third design of the crest proved to be a durable one. Its oval shape Red and white horizontal lines and a flag with the PSV letters incorporated remains used until today. Only minor changes have occurred, the border color and addition of horseshoe-shaped figures, a circle around the three letters and the addition of two stars to commemorate winning 20 league titles. Early incarnations of the oval version also included dots for the abbreviation a Euro PSV a Euro unregistered trademark. For the centennial celebrations in 2013, a laurel wreath and the number of 100 euros a euro unregistered trademark in gold were temporarily added to the crest. 
The colors red and white were chosen at the founding meeting in 1913 by Jan Willem Hofks, the first chairman of the club. He apparently appreciated the contrast between his red raspberry drink and his white notepad. Inspired by the club colors, the first kit consisted of a red and white vertically striped shirt, black shorts and red and white horizontally striped socks. This combination was worn until the 70s, when the club switched to a completely red shirt, which was worn with either white or black shorts. The red kit was changed back to a striped version in 1989. The red and white stripes have remained ever since, albeit in very varied adaptations. The shorts would also often change between black and white. During Rude Gullet's tenure at PSV, he personally changed the shorts from black to white, in an attempt to improve the stature of the kit. For the centennial celebrations in 2013, PSV have temporarily switched to an all-red jersey with white shorts and socks. Its design choices were meant to reminisce the kits worn during the 1987-88 season. Because of the close ties with Philips, PSV have had the same jersey sponsor without exception since 1982, the year jersey sponsorships were introduced in the Eredivisie. This is a record in Dutch football. PSV A Euro unregistered trademark S first clothing sponsor was Lecoq Sportif, from 1970 to 1974, when it switched to Adidas. They remained sponsor until 1995, when they were replaced by Nike Euro, who are still sponsoring the club as of today. Stadium and Training Facilities PSV have played at the Philips Stadium since its foundation in 1913, when it was still named Philippe Sport Park. The venue was built in the STRIJP borough, and more specifically in the Philips Dorp area, a neighborhood set up in 1910 by Anton Phillips in order to provide accommodation to employees. A football field was simultaneously laid out where PSV A Euro unregistered trademark S predecessor. The Philips Elftal played its first match in on January 15, 1911 against Hollandia from Wonsel. In 1916, the first wooden stand was built, providing seating space for 550 viewers. Another stand with 900 seats was built in the 30s. In 1941, a running track was added, but it was removed 17 years later. During World War II, the stadium was damaged by the war. The reparations took place after the liberation of South Netherlands in 1944. Four 40-meter-high floodlights were installed in the stadium in 1958, making evening matches possible. The lights were inaugurated with an exhibition match against Anderlecht. In 1977, the main stand was completely rebuilt, but an Alcalia Euro silica reaction ten years later caused the concrete to crack. Chairman Jacques Ratz who was previously introduced to the ski box in the United States, considered a new stand to be an opportunity to attract more sponsors. The new main stand, two tiers, with ski boxes in the middle a Euro was introduced in a friendly match against AC Milan in 1988. In the 90s, the other three stands are also elevated. The last major renovation was the closing of the four open corners of the stadium. Along with creating more seats, the new corners had window blind type constructions, which allowed air to flow through in order to let the grass breath. The completion was celebrated in October 2002, with the capacity increased to 35,000. In the summer of 2005, the club removed the tall fences around the pitch, replacing them with lower railings keeping the spectators off the grass. Unauthorized persons who do invade the pitch will receive AA 15,000 penalty and a 10-year ban from visiting the ground. The Phillips Stadium has been awarded 4 out of 5 stars by the UEFA Stadium Rankings. The ground holds several designated areas. The lower terraces on the east stand are considered the proper location for the fanatic viewers. There are also separate areas for youngsters up to 16 years old, for the disabled, and for fans of the visiting team in the northwest upper corner. A stand named the A Euro Family Corner A Euro Unregistered Trademark specifically serves children up to 12 and their parents. For business representatives, the stadium has business rooms and suites, totaling 1186 seats. Besides football-related activities, the stadium holds merchandising stores, offices and three restaurants, 
including the Michelin star assigned avant garde. For the centennial celebrations, a PSV museum will be revealed in the stadium. Training sessions by PSV are conducted under Heedgang, located in the outskirts of Eindhoven in woodland surroundings. With 10 fields and fitness facilities, it also accommodates all PSV youth and amateur teams. Its last major renovation occurred in 2006. Support and rivalries PSV have attracted around 33,000 people to Eredivisie matches on average in the last years. The record attendance stands at 35,200, achieved in a match against Feyenoord at November 17, 2002. The club always reserves tickets for away fans and individual ticket purchases. The maximum number of season ticket holders therefore is 29,200. All season tickets were sold out in 2007 and 2008. More recently in 2013, PSV sold 28,000 season tickets. Research showed that over 25,000 season ticket holders hail from Node Brabant, with other significant groups coming from Limburg, Gelderland, Zurich Holland, Node Holland and Belgium. PSV currently has two independent fan bodies. The A Euro supporters Breenigging PSV A Euro unregistered trademark was founded in 1920 and currently consists of 14,000 members. They own a fan base within the Philips Stadion. The second one, PSV Fans United, serve a more specific purpose, to improve the atmosphere in the stadium. Besides the fan unions, there are several sets of fans who work together on TIFO choreography, like Light Town Madness among others. The PSV Junior Club was founded by PSV in 1998 for children up to 12 years. Later it was renamed Foxy Club after Foxy, PSV a Euro unregistered trademark S mascot. Currently, more than 20,000 children are member. Every year, the Foxy Club Day is organized offering activities for members who are joined by the first team squad. During pre-season, PSV also holds an open day for people of all ages. The event gives the opportunity for sponsors and new player signings to be presented. The official club anthem was composed by Keys van der Weyden and Joe Vermeulen. It was introduced in 1950 and is currently sung at every home match at 19 minutes and 13 seconds into the game the time mirroring the Club Euro unregistered trademark S Foundation year. PSV A Euro unregistered trademark S main rivalry is with Ajax, with both teams regularly competing for the league title in the last 40 years. The PSV fans, whose club has reserved the kit number of 12 euros a Euro unregistered trademark for them, refer to themselves as a Euro Borina Euro unregistered trademark. The word can be heard chanted through the home ground after every PSV goal. Its reference designates taking pride in their Brabantian heritage, as opposed to the metropolitan Amsterdam area. The Brabantian identity also plays a fundamental role in the club's culture with the flag of North Brabant being incorporated in shirt design and being displayed in and around the stadium. PSV used to have an ongoing rivalry with FC Eindhoven, which originated in the 1910s. FC Eindhoven, being the older team, manifested itself as the A Euro Fiopli Euro unregistered trademark S Club A Euro unregistered trademark, whereas PSV was only open to Philips employees. In the 1940s and 1950s, PSV and FC Eindhoven were both competing for the league title, which increased the feud and divided the City of Light in a Euro Red White Strip at a Euro Unregistered Trademark and a Euro Blue White Strip at a Euro Unregistered Trademark. Fixtures between the two sides were named the Ligue Star Derby. After FC Eindhoven a Euro Unregistered Trademark S decline in the 70s, the rivalry disappeared. Nowadays relations between the two sets of supporters are generally friendly, during the annual pre-season derby supporters even sit in the same end without any major incidents. Although a friendly rivalry still exists it's mostly felt on the FC Eindhoven side. However it is not uncommon for people in Eindhoven to go to FC Eindhoven on Fridays and to go to PSV on a Saturday or Sunday. In recent times, FC Eindhoven was PSV a Euro unregistered trademark S feeder club on several occasions and the club's share a women a Euro unregistered trademark S team and youth setup. 
Organization and Finances, PSV was an association until 1999, when it became a public limited company with shareholders. It meant that the club installed a board of directors, who were not involved in most of the decision-making processes. Instead, they serve as an advising and supervising entity. All shares but one are owned by a foundation, the Foundation PSV Football. The remaining share is owned by the Eindhoven Football Club PSV, another separate entity. The general manager holds responsibility for all activities regarding the club, and is supported by a manager operations and a treasurer. PSV also appoints a director of football, who manages football-related processes such as transfers, in order to control the long-term planning. PSV was founded by Philips and in the first decades, the club was only open to employees. The club did sign players from elsewhere, though. One of the perks of playing for PSV was that players who were offered a football contract, were always offered a Philips job as well. Philips has been Kit's sponsor since 1982 and the PSV home ground has included the Philips name since its foundation. The company pays 7, 5 million euro per year for the sponsoring and will remain Kit's sponsor until at least 2016. Fritz Philips, chairman of the company between 1961 and 1971, became an icon for PSV during his lifetime. At five years of age, he conducted the ceremonial kickoff at the first Philips Elftal match in 1911. Fritz Philips would become intertwined with PSV in Eindhoven. His 100th birthday was widely celebrated in the city. Fritz Philips had his own spot in the stands until his death and would sometimes provide pep talks to the squad during half time. PSV was often a way for Philips to introduce its technology to the public. In 1950, a match between PSV and FC Eindhoven was the first televised match in the Netherlands, with Philips supplying the technique. And in 1958, Philips installed four floodlights in the stadium. PSV A Euro unregistered trademark S budget in 2011 was 60 million euro. Before 2011, PSV A Euro unregistered trademark S budget would only remain balanced if the team would qualify for the UEFA Champions League every year. But disappointing performances since 2008 meant that the club ended up with a yearly a 10 to 20 million negative balance, forcing the club to cut costs and obtain new revenues. The ground under the stadium and the training facilities were sold for a 48, 4 million to the Eindhoven municipality in a leasehold estate construction. PSV also took out a 20 million loan with Philips and additional loans with local entrepreneurs. The club also introduced sponsoring on the back of the player kits. Frio, part of Delage Landon, was the company to present its name there. Statistics and records PSV A Euro unregistered trademark S21 League Championships are the second highest in Dutch football, behind Ajax. The 9 KNVB Cup victories are the third highest, after Ajax and Feyenoord. PSV won the most Joe and Cruid Shield A Euro unregistered trademark S so far. The double was achieved four times, with the one in 1988 being part of the treble A Euro a feat only achieved by six other European clubs. Between 1985 and 1989, and between 2005 and 2008, PSV won the Eredivisie four times in a row. The only other club accomplishing this was HVV Den Haag. In recent decades, the team has been consistently competing for the top spots in the league. In the Eredivisie all-time standings, PSV are second behind Ajax. PSV have played in a European competition every year since 1974. Only FC Barcelona and Anderlecht have a longer streak in play. Willy van der Kuyelm currently holds the record for the most league appearances and the most league goals. He played 528 matches and scored 308 goals between 1964 and 1981. Willy van der Kerkhoff played the second highest amount of league matches for PSV. He appeared in 418 Eredivisie fixtures. The third highest in the list is Jan Hintz with 395 games. The second highest goal scorer for PSV is Cohen Dillon, who produced 288 goals. Third in the list is Piet Franzen with 210 goals. The record for number of goals in one season stands at 43.
scored by Dylan in the 1956-57 season. This figure is also a national record. Another domestic record is the amount of consecutive minutes with a clean sheet. The number stands at 11.59 minutes, which PSV achieved in 2004 with two different goalkeepers, Hilho Gomez and Edwin Zatibia. The largest transfer fee PSV have ever received was for Ruud van Nisleru. Manchester United paid a £30 million for the striker in 2001. Major K three-quarters man's move to PSV in 2000 was the most expensive incoming transfer. A £11, £3 million was paid to FK Partizan. Honours, domestic, Eredivisie, 21, 1928 a Euro 29, 1934 a Euro 35. 1950 a Euro 51, 1962 a Euro 63, 1974 a Euro 75, 1975 a Euro 76, 1977 a Euro 78, 1985 a Euro 86, 1986 a Euro 87, 1987 a Euro 88, 1988 a Euro 89, 1990 a Euro 91, 1991 a Euro 92, 1996 a Euro. 97, 1999 a Euro 00, 2000 a Euro 01, 2002 a Euro 03, 2004 a Euro 05, 2005 a Euro 06, 2006 a Euro 07, 2007 a Euro 08. KNVB Cup, 9, 1949-50, 1973-74, 1975-76, 1987-88, 1988 89, 1995 European Cup, 1. 1987 a Euro 88. UEFA Cup, 1, 1977 a Euro 78. Domestic results, below is a table with PSV's domestic results since the introduction of the Eredivisie in 1956. European results. Current squad. As of January 15, 2014, for recent transfers, see list of Dutch football transfers summer 2013. Note. Flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Retired numbers. 12 a Euro club supporters, 99 a Euro Foxy, on loan. Note. Flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Jong PSV, for the reserve squad of PSV Eindhoven C. Jong PSV, Personnel, Technical Staff, Management, Former Managers, as of June 27, 2013, Former Captains, Notes, References, External Links, Official Club Site of PSV Slash Slash, Official Supporters Club Slash.